The nationwide transition to digital TV begins tomorrow. What does that mean for you? Here's CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Seberg. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. The countdown is on. For, for real this time. It really is going to happen yeah. this time. Okay, so what happens is all of the television signals become digital, and that means a lot to a lot of people. How many people are out there who still are, are not ready for digital TV? Well, about 3% of people are still not ready. So the vast majority of people are already right. prepared for this sort the of thing. Three 3% of some 100, 100 and some, that's some still millions yeah, we're still of people. Exactly. We're still talking about millions of people who are unready, either they don't understand what to right. do, or it's sort of human nature, they're waiting to see what will happen. All right, so here we are. Here's an old-fashioned TV back here. This right. is what we call an old analog TV yep. with, the, uh, with, the, with the rabbit ears. With the rabbit ears. And we should point out, by the way, you don't have to throw away your rabbit ears. They'll still work with a digital signal. Okay, but hang on a second. Yes. This is what's gonna happen if you to your old analog TV oh. when the switch goes over. Exactly. This is exactly what's gonna look like. People don't understand if they haven't done the stuff they need to do, this is what they're gonna have. It's coming. And we should okay. point out that the digital signal has been available for a while. Right. The, the deal is they're gonna turn off the, the old, analog signal. Right. All right. Um, and so you need to be prepared, yes. If you have a cable box, if you're on cable, you have nothing to worry about. Cable, satellite, uh, newer television. Televisions made after March of 2007. Mm -hmm. All of a digital tuner already built into them. Built so, into them. Yeah, so you don't even have to think about it. You're right. fine, which right. is a lot of people here. All right, but here's the thing that has been the interesting bone of contention is if you have a TV that's older than that, right. if you've been using an antenna, or if you've been using an rabbit analog, ears, rabbit exactly, ears, yes. you need this. You do. It's a digital converter box, and so it's taking that digital signal. So and converting it actually, so your TV you can show You need this it. thing right here. Right. Now, they're also still giving out these coupons for people. If you want to purchase one of these and don't think you can afford it, there are $40 coupons available. You just need to go online and apply for them. It, yeah, okay. So, and there was a big problem with that program, we should point out. It ran out of money. It, there was a, a lot of hiccups along the way with right. this thing, but it's back, and you can still get it. Obviously, you're not going to get it in time for tomorrow, right. but you can still get it for later. Uh, maybe the biggest advice is if you're looking at all of this and you don't understand it, you need to call your son-in-law or call one of your grandkids right. and, and, and have them sort of look at your stuff and say, oh, well, you need to get one of these. It's, it's easy for this to be confusing. I mean, there are lots of wires, about VHF and UHF, right. digital, analog, all this stuff. It yeah. can be a little intimidating for some people. Fortunately, most people have a younger person in the family who you can call up and say, help me out here. And, this and by the way, we should point out, tomorrow when this happens, it's different in every market. So you're going to check with your local broadcaster. Okay. So this doesn't happen. All right, there you go. <laughs> Daniel, as always, thank you so much. Right. For more on the transition to digital TV, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.